Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to take a virtual hard disk from one machine and move it to a different virtual machine. So if you have, like, let's say a hard drive that has a bunch of pictures or music files on it and you want to uh, use that hard drive on a different VM, you could do that. And it's pretty simple to do. So just keep in mind, you're not going to want to do this for your uh, hard drive that has your operating system on it. So like your C drive from Windows, because that's going to make your... Uh, the virtual machine that you take the hard drive from uh, useless until you put it back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a secondary hard drive and show you how to do it from there. So if I go to my virtual box manager, I have this Windows 7 VM. And under storage here, you can see I have my Windows drive and I have a drive called data. And if I go to the settings, under storage, you can see I got the same thing here, my Windows 7 VDI, my data VDI, and then I have my CD-ROM. I notice if I click on it, I can't do anything because it's running. And then I'll show you here that it's running. So here's my file explorer, my C drive, my CD-ROM, and my data drive. And I have these three folders, Dropbox, DVD Maker, and Microsoft. And then I also have disk management open here. And you can see I have the same drive here as my Z drive, 32 gigabytes. So now what I'll do is I'll shut down this virtual machine so I could disconnect the hard drive from it. Okay, so now that it's shut down, I'm going to go back to the settings for this Windows 7 virtual machine. Go to Storage, Data, and I'm going to click on Remove Selected Storage Attachment. So now it's not there anymore. That didn't delete it. That just removed it from this VM. And so now if I go to my Virtual Media Manager, so here's my Data VDI that I just removed. And see if I hover over it, it says not attached, so it's just free to be used on something else. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say, I'm going to pick this VM called 10, this Windows 10. I'm going to go to Settings, Storage, and I'm going to click on Add a Hard Disk. And so this will bring up my Hard Disk Selector. And so I'm going to find the one that's called Data because it's not attached. These other ones are attached, as you can see in there. So I'm going to scroll down to not attached. That's the only one I have that's not attached. Select it. Click on choose. And now you can see it's attached there. So now I'm going to start up this VM and we'll see what happens. Okay, so now I have this Windows 10 VM started up. And let's go to disk management. We're just going to click on start and just do a search for it. Okay, so as you can see, it actually attached the drive for us and gave us the next available drive letter. So if you want, you could right-click on it and you know change drive letters. So if I want to make it um, the same as it was before, Z, like as long as Z is available, you could do that. Click OK. And this is just warning you saying if you change the drive letter, some programs might not work correctly, but we don't have any programs installed in here, so we're not going to worry about it. Okay, so now it shows that it's the Z drive. So if we open up our Windows Explorer slash File Explorer, go to this PC. There's our data drive, the Z drive. Open that up. We have the Dropbox, DVD Maker, and Microsoft folder, just like we did when it was on the Windows 7 machine. So that's pretty simple. As you can see, we have the, uh, going back here, we have the data VDI now on Windows 10 virtual machine. If we go back to Windows 7, it's not there. And if we actually go back to Virtual Media Manager, we can see there's our data VDI, 32 gigabytes. And you can see that it's attached to 10. That's the name of the VM if you hover over it. And pretty simple. So that's all I got to do is just, you know, disconnect it from one, make sure the VM's turned on, attach it to the other, boot up that VM, go into disk management, make sure it's recognized, and you should be good to go. All right. Please make sure to subscribe and thanks for watching.